In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Today we gather again in spiritual communion in our lovely Gethsemane Chapel on this Friday of the sixth week of Easter, Friday after we celebrate, celebrated the Ascension of the Lord. We're remembering today St. Rita of Pasha, a great saint of the church from the 15th century or so. We're offering today's holy sacrifice of the Mass for Henry Coderaro for the consolation of those who grieve him. Please keep them in your prayers today. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to, to life and new to life in the spirit. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the wisdom and strength of the cross, with which you were pleased to endow St. Rita, so that, suffering in every tribulation with Christ, we may participate ever more deeply in his paschal mystery, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking, and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half, and taught the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, and the, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, this man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio spoke to the Jews. If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was of concern to Gallio. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Sensre, he had shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm number 47. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples clap your hands. Shout to God with sh cries of gladness. For the Lord, the most high, the awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God is king of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy. The Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our king, sing praise. God is king of all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Christ had 
to suffer and to rise from the dead, so enter into his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy, that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish. But I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Not only do we stand in celebration today, the day after we have celebrated the ascension of our Lord into heaven, 40 days after the resurrection, the ascension, now we're in a time of prayer, a time of novena, nine days of prayer preparing for the descent of the Holy Spirit upon and the birth of the church in the world. A great, tremendous time of prayer for us. And we pray amid the continuing challenges we face because of the coronavirus, although we are getting ready to open the church in a limited way for Holy Mass this weekend for Sunday Masses. See the website for details on that, please. And we're also remembering in a special way St. Rita of Cascia, who was a great saint of the church, who was born to an Italian peasant family in 1381. While she desired to remain a virgin in her young life, her parents encouraged her very heavily, as was traditional in those days, uh, to get married. And she did marry, and her husband was not the greatest husband in the world. He was a bit abu abusive to her. Uh, they had two children together, two sons, and he was a victim of a politically motivated murder. Now, in her day, vendetta was a common thing, to fix the score, to get even, uh, to return blood for blood, and so forth. And her sons wanted to do just that. But Rita did not want to have any part of it. She wanted to, she encouraged them to forgive uh, those who killed and to not carry out a vendetta. She prayed so hard to God, God, please do something to prevent this. Her sons died before they could carry out the act. Okay, we, sometimes we have to be careful what we ask for. I say that tongue in cheek. And yet, this is what happened in Rita's life. And afterwards, she joined the Augustinian the Augustinian nuns in Cascia, and pursued a life of intense prayer and mortification. She died in 1457 after protracting an illness. Pope St. John Paul II said of her that she walked the way of the cross so well. If we ask St. Rita, he said, for the secret to the extraordinary work of social and spiritual renewal, how do we renew the culture, how do we renew the world around us, she replies, Fidelity to the love that was crucified. Fidelity to the cross and Christ on the cross. To Christ on the cross, right? The one who was crucified. Love crucified. Fidelity to that kind of love. Faithfulness to that kind of love. It is a tall order, but it is the formula that God has shown us. In whatever way we can, especially through our relationship with God, and our relationship with one another because of that relationship we have with God. That spiritual communion that we have right now can extend into all of those around us. Right? We bring Christ to the world because God is in us. People of faith, we believe that God is with us, within us, right? And that we're sharing Christ with the world, just like St. Paul did in his day, the apostles, all the great apostles of today, right? All the great disciples of today. All the great evangelists of today, those who bring Christ to the world by how we live, by what we say, by what we do. 
and how we pray, especially in these days of Novena to the Holy Spirit, to pour down the Holy Spirit, Lord, in a special way in these days for our time. Great outpouring of the precious blood of our Lord for the renewal of the world, the Holy Spirit upon all the human flesh. God bless you. We pray with confidence to our loving and merciful Heavenly Father that the Lord may heal the wounds of his church and bring justice and healing to her members, that the peace of Christ may overpower nations in conflict, that God may relieve the suffering of all who struggle with disease or ill health, that Christ may bring consolation to those in our community who are mourning the loss of loved ones, that those who have died, especially Henry Foderaro, may experience eternal life with Christ in the glory of the resurrection. We pray for all of our sick, especially those affected by coronavirus, for those who care for the sick, the dying, those who care for the dying, for those who will die today, especially for those who will die alone. We are mindful of our loved ones, and we are mindful of the holy souls in purgatory who need our prayers and help to get home. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, what we ask in faith, please grant according to your most gracious will. Lord Jesus Christ, our divine physician, we ask you to guard and protect us from coronavirus and from all serious illness. For all those who have died from it, have mercy. For those who are ill now, bring healing. For those searching for a remedy, enlighten them. For medical caregivers helping the sick, strengthen and shield them. For those working to contain the spread, grant them success. For especially for those priests who are on the front line, bringing sacraments of healing and strength for those who are dying specifically from the coronavirus, thus putting themselves at risk. We pray our Lord give them strength, grace, and protection. May your precious blood, Lord Jesus, be our great defense and our salvation. By your grace, may you turn the evil of disease into moments of consolation and hope. May we always fear the contagion of sin more than any other illness. We abandon ourselves entirely to your most gracious will, which is love and mercy itself. We join our poor prayers to those of Our Lady. We speak them in the name of her beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, through the intercession of St. Rita of Kasha as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who we'll among himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work in human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit, with thy heart, let us be acknowledged by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church.
Most merciful God, who are pleased to create and bless the reader, the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like her, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, singing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we only implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For all the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, 
grant that we were nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your life, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Rita of Cassia, St. Monica, St. Lucy, St. Padre Pio, St. Cecilia, and with all the saints on the constant intercession in your presence, we rely for our unfailing help. In this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, to advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity in your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Cardinal Archbishop, Robert, his auxiliary, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have obtained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you as they're passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this make the body of our Lord Jesus Christ and eternal life. Behold the Lamb of God, the only one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and that my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ in the face of eternal life.
until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Again, we look forward to having Sunday Mass here in the churches, Saturday evening at 4, both churches, Sunday morning as well. Please check the website for details on the schedule and what you can expect as you enter church. There are, of course, specific requirements and things we have to do in order to maintain social distancing and, and proper numbers and so forth. All of that is laid out clearly on the website. We appreciate your patience in helping us to be safe and holy in this time of the coronavirus. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of Almighty God, thrust into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking to ruin souls. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Our risen and ascended Savior, pour out your Holy Spirit upon all human flesh. <laughs>